Greetings, CERN alumni. For today's Did You Know, we're looking at the CERN Single Sign-On, or SSO, to connect to alumni.cern, as many of you have contacted us reporting some difficulties authenticating through the new CERN Single Sign-On page. Please note that unless you disconnect from alumni.cern or clean your cookies, your favourite browser will remember you, so you only need to do the following once. From the alumni.cern public homepage, in the top right hand corner, click on Login. This will take you to the CERN SSO page. You'll see, if you're connecting via desktop, that there are several zones where you may authenticate yourself before gaining access to selected CERN computing resources, including alumni.cern. For you, there are three possibilities available. The first zone is for those of you who still have a valid CERN account, whether you're still a member of personnel or if you're within the two months period after your departure. In both cases, you may proceed to connect in this zone with your valid CERN credentials. You may also wish to authenticate using a social account, such as Google, LinkedIn or Facebook. CERN will rely on their authentication mechanism to identify you. In this case, you need to connect in this zone of the SSO page. The third possibility is to authenticate with the CERN external account which you've created. These external accounts are also sometimes referred to as lightweight accounts. In this case, you'll use the zone labelled Guest Access. If you've forgotten your password for this external account, you may reset it at the following page. Please note that whichever zone you use to authenticate yourself, the identifier that you provide must correspond to the identifier you provided when you registered to the network. If you'd like to change this identifier, please do contact us at alumni.relations at cern.ch. If your CERN account is still valid, there will come a time when this will no longer be the case. And this is why we recommend that when you get closer to the end of your contract, you use a private personal address for authenticating yourself on alumni.cern. Also, don't forget that if your CERN account is still valid, your browser may get confused and try to log you in with your CERN coordinates. If this is the case, we recommend you open a private or incognito browser window to reach alumni.cern. All of this is explained in the SSO page, so don't hesitate to take a good look at it. Finally, you may have downloaded the CERN Alumni app from the Google or Apple Store. If not, we strongly recommend you do so, as it's a handy and easy way to have access to the network, and in particular, to find alumni around you wherever you may be in the world. Please remember that if you're logging into the CERN Alumni app with credentials other than a CERN account, you'll have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page to either the social account or the guest access zone of the application before you can log in with your alumni.cern credentials. But remember, you only need to do this once. In all cases, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any issues connecting on alumni.cern or if you wish to change your identifier. We really want you to stay connected.